Hello. Oh, we have somebody here. Who is in my room? Simon. Simon Nelson. Welcome, Katrina. Good morning, Katrina and Simon. Simon, are you there? Can you see the pacing guy? Somebody needs to talk to me because it's really lonely here. EB3. Who is EB3?
Welcome, Caroline Wirch. Good morning, Simon. Oh. Or you're on. How are you doing? Oh, good. How about you? Good. See, you're the first voice that I've heard this session. Hi. And it's always nice to hear a voice. <laughs> it's really quiet. Can you see me? I cannot see you. No, I've turned all the video. Actually, your video is on. Mm -hmm. I just turned mine on. Yeah, I'm going to stop that. Okay. Because, um, you know, we don't need to. I, I yeah. couldn't see you, though. I don't know. So, no matter. Um, yeah. All right. Good. So, uh, can you see the pacing guide, Simon? Um, I cannot. I just see a white screen. Yeah, oh, really? Oh, interesting. Okay. Oh, there it is. Is that Caroline? Yeah. Hi, Caroline. How are you? Hi. Okay, so confusing. What's that? Are you uh, excited to start it up? What? Are you excited to start up school? Yeah. Okay, good. You are? Yeah. You know, wow. It's really boring otherwise. I got to tell you. Bailey is on. <clears throat> Welcome. Hi, Bailey. I think Katrina's on. Yeah. Bailey, I'm going to I'm gonna stop the video. So, I think, yeah. So, hmm. Yeah. So, James is on. Okay. Who is EV3? EV3. They're my. So. Have a better bill, Carpenter's run outside. Oh, here we go. Who's on? We got Simon Bailey, Katrina E.B. Oh, and Casey. Casey is in the house. All right. All right. So, um, <clears throat> hey, I want you guys to know. Can you see the chat here? Um, all, all I can see is just like a plain white screen. I don't see anything else. Okay. Yeah, I see just like. A white screen and then the participants on the side. Okay. Oh, I don't even see participants. I think I clicked something. Oh, the screen is being okay. Oh, okay. Now I see it. Trina, Casey, James. Oh, yeah. Okay. I see it. Okay. So now, oh, can now you, I see it. Okay. Pacing guide. Okay. So you can see the pacing guide. And do you guys have this? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. Now, <clears throat> So these uh, graphs here are just to help you kind of like, like this one says, um, graph the, the same line con. That, so you're supposed to graph that right here. Um, circle the y-intercept, show the slope, et cetera. So this first day, we're just talking about trying to kind of get reacquainted with things here. And then we're going to So. What we're going to see here is uh, we're going to I'm going to mute everybody because otherwise it gets crazy. So, um, and we don't want it to get too crazy. I mean, we're crazy enough as it is. So, <clears throat> all to say, James, you're going to turn off your video. Um, so uh, we're just not doing video. So. Um, Real quick, guys, uh, I just want to let you know, oh, we got somebody else joining us. That's good. That's all good. Uh, who's that? I'm not sure who's that. But what we're doing is that 
I just wanted to kind of go over a little bit. You know, we might have other people joining us. It's just 11 o'clock now. So, <clears throat> so if you can go ahead and, uh, <clears throat> and um, make sure that you can, um, uh, you could you uh, ask questions via chat and I will answer them. Um, and you can be to everyone or just to me, whatever you think. Uh, if it's just to me, I'll just answer the question. I, if you're self-conscious about asking questions that, you know, what you might be afraid of are dumb questions, then that's easy too. Okay. Well, if somebody's on an iPad, it just says iPad there. I don't know where that is. So here we go. A couple of things. So I, I want some of the changes. I don't know if you watched the video. Um, <clears throat> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask, ask that question of, of the group. Did you watch the video that I made? Can you, I hope you guys can chat. Okay. <laughs> Parts of it. Was it too long, Caroline? Um, so what we're looking at is, um, good, we got Preston and Ryan's in the game. Okay. Good, good, good. Um, the video is, um, it's posted on the, um, What's the video posted on? I'm sorry. I'm, I was typing. Hey, so <laughs> so uh, the the video is posted on um, Google Classroom. Um, I can send it, so and then it's. I don't think it's. Um, I can also attach it and put it in. It's on YouTube, is what it is. It's a YouTube video. Oh, so, okay. Um, but but there should be a link to it in all these other places. So that's the idea. Thank you. Yeah. Good question. Okay, welcome, Reed. Some writer. All right. 15 people here now. That's awesome. We got a good group. Mariah's in the game. Preston's here. Okay. So we'll just wait for people to show up. Uh, the audio is really quiet. You can turn it up. Um, Ryan, turn on your volume, maybe. Um, there should be a little microphone icon in the corner of the screen. You need to click it. So there's no problem. Okay. So uh, you don't need a microphone here, by the way. No problems, um, but you will need a speaker because you want to be able to hear me explain things. So what my intention here is just to, to kind of get you kind of acquainted with what we're going to be doing here. And um, so let's see here. Ryan, can you hear me now? Okay. And Preston, I'm going to mute you. You know, we don't need to have our microphone on. Okay, Mariah? Oops. So, um, I just kind of muted some people here. Okay, there we go. Um, so, here we go. Are you ready? So, okay, real quick, we're, this won't take very long. Okay, as you know, my, my uh, introductions, my explanations shouldn't take very long. If you have questions, I want to make sure that you are, you feel welcome to go ahead and ask any questions that you might have. And the best way to do that is through the Zoom, the group chat. Okay, so feel free to ask questions. I will answer them. If you can, you know, um, and there's also supposed to be a way you can share a, a screen or a question or, or something like that. So, so uh, there we go.
Okay. So um, real quick, guys. Uh, so um, this is what we're talking about right here. There's somebody's mics on. I turned my on. Yeah. Cody, I just turned it off for you. Okay. So, so no big deal. But so uh, uh, there's a couple of changes that I want to make sure that you guys are aware of. Number one, your quiz grade. We, I'm not going to give you quizzes, but you're going to take the quizzes and do the problems and the test, the, um, and the online quizzes and the online tests. All of those things will boost your mastery score, and your quiz grade will be your mastery score. So I just want you to realize that. Um, so let me just show you what the mastery score is going to look like. So let me see if I can find. Okay. So for me, this is um, okay. Let me see if I can. Why is that not? Mr. Projector, are yeah. all the assignments are all the assignments you put on Khan Academy are they due on Wednesday or Saturday? Okay. So Monday and Tuesday. Good question. Thank you for asking. Okay, Monday and Tuesdays are due on Wednesday. And then Wednesday, Thursday, Fridays are due on Sunday. Oh, okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So this is, um, oh. Okay, so these are, this is what I want you to, to, to see right here, okay? So if I look at right here, linear equations and functions, okay? Um, but then I, and I could, if I see this right here, okay, this is 17% mastery. That means that I would get on linear equations and functions, I would get a 17% on the quiz grade. That's not very good. Now, but if I go here and I go and I take this, uh, this quiz, okay, so, and also I, I want to also let you know, see these little bars here? and more specifically over here, this means that we're, we're doing pretty good, but we still don't have that, um, we don't have the um, little crown there. So we wanna get the crown thing. So this is my, and this is probably why, because my quiz two was 21 days ago, I got a 60%, that's not very good. So we wanna, we wanna bump that up. And we do so by taking the, um, taking the quizzes and the tests. Um, we can also work on this stuff here via the practice, okay? So that's what we wanna do. So if I, um, my quiz one, I did really well on, but my quiz two, I didn't do very good on it. And that's why my, my mastery level is so low, okay? So, so if I take this quiz two, like right now I'm at 17%, I take this quiz two, I'll bet you it'll go up 500 points, okay? So that's what it says there. So, you know, that's, that's how important that is, okay? Then this is 400 points. So if I get mastery, I can get, you know, go up considerably. Quiz four, 1,400 mastery points, okay? And all of those, 2,700 points. So, so when I get through all of those, that will be my quiz score when I, if you ace all those, you can get 2,700 points and 100% easy on your on your quiz scores. Okay, so so we are okay. There's a question out there: Are we redoing our last assignments or starting on the ones that I posted? I am. Um, okay, first off, we need to be a little careful as to what we're going to post here in our chat. Our chat is not is all should be educational and talking about the curriculum, not anything else. So that's not going to happen, okay? So we're not playing games on the chat. And if you need to, I could just turn off the chat if that's how it's gonna happen, but I'm not sure how you're gonna ask questions if I have to do that. So this is the idea. So that's what your quiz grade is based on that, um, that mastery. I want you to know that. Okay, um, now let's just, I'm gonna go right into the, uh, I'm gonna go into my whiteboard, or maybe I'll just go to share story. Okay. So, um, 
or new share. Okay, so this is the pacing guide. Now the question is, um, okay, so as you look at this, the pacing guide says we're going to review, we're going to look back at the lessons that we've done. And this is just kind of a, what I, I, you know, we're just going to go back and do this uh, achieve mastery on the quizzes. Okay, so quiz one and quiz two on this section, that's what you want to do. Now, on your notes, I asked you to go ahead and, and um, to, I want you to write on this piece of paper, what a definition of slope, what is it? Change in, yep, change in y over the change in x. That's the kind of thing, all right? Determine the slope from the following table. This is all review. Remember, change in y is three, change in x is six, so that would be three over six. Well, you can do the rest, okay? Then, determining it from a equation. Yep, there's your slope, okay? You see that? And so determine uh, the solutions of 4x minus 12. What are some solutions here? So you can go ahead and you can, you know, put those in there. All right. So if x is 0, if x was 0, what's y? Huh. Well, I'm at negative 12. Okay. If x is 4, what is y? And you put that y right in here. So that's the idea. This is a very interactive. This is kind of simple. That's what you want to do. Okay. So then what are the intercepts? Remember, if the x intercept is when y is equal to zero, the y intercept is when x is equal to zero. Do you remember that? Okay. And then, um, then you're going to complete quizzes one and two again. Okay. And you've already done them, but we're going to do it again. And you're going to fill in this okay because i want to know what your percentages are okay any questions there so far okay um okay uh good question mariah would do you want us to write it on our paper and our notebook or just the paper i just want you to write it on this paper that's all you need to do, okay? You can put it, somebody came up with the idea, well, can I copy and paste this into a um, Google Doc and then write on the Google Doc? Yes, you can, and then you can just share that with me. That would be perfect, okay? Um, does that make sense? So, um, Reed, um, yes, you're just gonna, uh, Reed Esquire is supposed to write down the notes on the note-taking guide, yes. And so I'm trying to make it simpler for you. Okay, I hope you understand that. Um, you can sh fill it out online if you'd like. Um, so these are the notes. These are the notes, okay? Any questions? So, okay, so now Monday and Tuesday, so Monday and Tuesday's work will need to be going to, um, or due on Wednesday at five. And then Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday's work is due on um, Sunday at five. You guys remember that? Um, and there you have it. It's not going to be too much different. I do want to remember your mastery thing. Your mastery is going to make you or break you. So make sure you do that. Okay. Now, any questions that you have? Any questions? Type out a question. I need to answer a question. Okay, so on Tuesday, let's just talk about that really quick. Intro to slope intercept lesson. Okay, so I want you to realize, you know, you're, um, so you're not using your workbooks. This is your workbook. Okay, so, um, let's talk about slope intercept form. Are you ready? Okay. Now, you know that slope intercept form is, this is it right here, okay? That is slope intercept form, y equals mx plus b. What is m? m is what? Who can tell me what it is? Yes, it is. 
Cody gets the prize. Yes, M is the um, M is the slope. Okay. Um, so now, and then what it says was uh, graph the same line that Khan does. And yes, Adeline, I want you to go ahead and use this um, graph to do that. I'm just trying to include everything in there so it's not really hard for you. If you have graph paper, it'll make it easy. Okay. Now, I'll also, I did put in um, graph paper in the, I think I put it on RenWeb, so that if you want a copy of graph paper, it has six or eight of them on one sheet, you can print that off and utilize that as your graph paper. Um, but I also included this too, okay? So, um, so what does the M stand for? I'm gonna ask you that a lot. What does the B stand for? Um, one thing I wanted to talk a little bit about is, let's see if I can do a whiteboard. And the reason why I wanna go ahead and like, if I said like three X minus four, equals you know four y or something like that okay so now remember um my my form that i want to put it in is y is equal to mx plus b okay so that's not this form is it but this form what i would do if i want to solve for y i can rewrite this as um four y is equal to 3x minus 4. And then I can divide both sides by 4, divide that by 4, and divide this by 4. And when I do that, I get y is equal to, and then I get 3 divided by 3x divided by 4, which is just 3 fourths x. And then minus, and 4 divided by 4 is 1. And so, so there it is. Thank you, Reed, for all that information. Okay. <clears throat> so, um, so now, what is the M? Is the slope? And it is what? Wait for it. It is three fourths. This is the slope. Okay. Make sense to you? And then what is the y-intercept? Okay, and is that negative one? Okay. Good job. Does that make sense to y'all? I hope it does. There might be an C there. I think it's C. Anyways, so that's the idea. When we start, we want to solve and put it in this form. If we can put it in this form, then we can know a lot about the equation. We know that the slope is m, the y-intercept is b. The slope is 3 fourths, the y-intercept is negative 1. So that's what this slope-intercept form thing is all about, okay? Um, so, um, and I think there we go. That'll take care of kind of like two days worth, really. Um, but I will meet you back here tomorrow if you have any questions. Are there any questions that you have? Ah, so, so any questions that you might have, um, you can go ahead and type it on there. Um, uh, yes, I will. Um, okay, so Mariah, you're asking, could you go over the table on the review? Yes. Let's talk about this table. That's a great question. I appreciate it. Um, so on this table, okay, so to determine the slope, the slope is the change in y. Okay, you're gonna to have to pardon me, I don't have my pin yet. Over the change, change in x, that's the slope. Okay, so in this case, 
The change in Y goes from 15 to 18. That's a positive three. Okay, then the change in X right here is from here to here. That's a positive six. So then my slope then is one half. That's the idea there. Now, if I'm talking about the solutions here, okay, then um, I'm not sure what your question was. Um, you know, that one might, um, um, Simon, let's talk about that in a minute. Okay, so um, if I'm gonna, so that's, that's how we use the table to determine the slope. The truth is I can use any of these points. Okay, I hope you can, you can see that. Okay, so I can use any point I want. Um, so let's say I wanna use this point and this point. Well, the change in Y from, from 15 to 24, that is a positive nine. Okay. Um, and then the change in X, six to 24 gives me 18. So that means that the change in X is 18. Okay, so that gives me a slope of one half. Same thing, isn't it? And it will always be the same, okay? So, I hope you understand that. So now when we come down here, determines the solutions for x minus 12. Now in this case, all we're gonna do is x is zero, so we're gonna plug it in, okay? So we're gonna plug in zero for x. So four times zero okay, minus 12, okay? Well, that's zero, isn't it? So that is supposed to equal y. Well, we, and that's what we're trying to determine. What then is y here? So four times zero is zero. Zero minus 12 is what? Well, it's just negative 12. Okay. Then if I wanted to go, if x is four, I'm gonna go 16, four times four, minus 12. And that is equal to, oops, and that is equal to y, right? Okay, so, so uh, that 16 minus 12 is what? Sorry about my writing, it's really bad. It's, no, it's worse than, okay, yes, it's four. Okay, so then I can continue and fill this out. And I want you to realize that each one of these, like if I put in five here, um, four times five is 20, minus 12 is eight. Okay, if X was negative four, negative four times four is negative 16, negative 16 minus 12 is negative 28. Okay, and I want you to realize um, thank you, Cody, by the way. So this is what we're looking at. Then I can, this is, the, this last point is the point five, eight. Okay. And this point here is the point negative four, negative 28. So I have a, a tablet with a pen coming in the mail, but it's in the mail, not really helping me out. So does that make sense to you? So I want you to know what this means. That means this is a point on the line. And so if we were to graph this, okay, oh, that's really messy. So, but if we were to graph these points, then, so this is four, four, um, five, eight, negative four, I could graph it. So anyways, um, make sense? 
So now our plan right now is, um, right now I think that we're gonna go ahead uh, and probably plan on doing online schooling through, I mean, the, the, the governor's already said through April. So we're talking a long time. I have meetings scheduled through the 10th. Um, and so every day um, at 11 o'clock, Algebra 2, um, if you have questions, I, and, and also I'll do some explanations and everything. Um, that's the plan. Okay. So any questions that you have, you can go ahead and put, uh, you can write them down. And I do number one. Um, V, okay. Okay, let me, um, okay. So the question has been uh, posed, can I do number one V? Solving for Y to convert this equation to slope intercept form. So what, again, what I wanna do is I have this equation and I wanna make that so it's in slope intercept form. Okay, so I wonder if I can copy that thing. Copy. Um, then I hope you recognize this is kind of new to me. So um, I'm going to go ahead and whiteboard it. And I'm going to write it down here. And that didn't work. So what was that? That was 3x plus four y okay give me a second here okay so 3x plus four y equals 24. Okay, so now, if we want to solve for y, so solving for y to convert this equation to slope intercept form, okay? Keep in mind, we want it to look like this. I hope you can kind of see that, okay? So, so then what we want to do then is, let's see here, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, sub if I want to solve for y, I'm going to leave this alone and get rid of the 3x. Minus 3x from the right, and I'm going to go minus 3x from the left. Okay? And so what happens there, I end up with 4y equals 24, and I'm just going to write it as minus 3x plus 24. Okay? So... <clears throat> Then what I want to do is remember I want I want I want it equal to what is y, so so divide by we're going to divide by four. Okay, divide by four, and we're going to divide this whole thing by four too. Now this is where the trick comes in, because I have to divide the negative three x divided by four, and the positive twenty four divided by four. So let's keep that in mind. What is four divided by four is one. Okay. Okay. okay, hey guys, we need to quit the comments. Okay. Okay, so divide by four, divide by four, I get y is equal to, and then negative three divided by four is negative three fourths. And that has an x by it, doesn't it? See that x there? Okay, and then I can plus 24 divided by four is six. So I have to divide this whole thing I should say this whole thing. This 
this whole negative three X, let me just go to drawing, okay. So I have to divide this by all of that. So it's like this whole thing divided by four to get this. So that is the idea. Okay, so please, uh, now any other questions that you might have about this concept or, or, or your, that what you need to get done? Go for it, Cody. What is your question, Cody? Anybody? Okay, so I want you to know you can uh, message me privately if you have questions um, on this, on this, uh, um, you know, on the concepts. I'm and while while we're uh, having this little meeting. Okay. Okay. So are you okay, Cody? Um, Okay, so this is the question. Give me a second here. Okay, so. So, um, hey, slope, I, I'm not sure if this is the question that, that's been posed, but Slope is always if I can write it slope is always the change in y over the change in x. I don't care what you say. It's that's always the case. It is never the change in x over the change in y. So I want you to I want that to be very clear. All right. So that is a slope. That is a slope. Any other questions, guys? So, all right. So, um, go for it. Um, so, if you have specific questions, you can ask me. Um, be working in your math. If you, uh, you know, I'm, I'm here for you. So, I wonder, is there a way you could shoot me a picture of, like, if you have a question, um, can you kind of do a, a screenshot of it and then send it to me? You could even send it to me by uh, email if you want. And then I can always get that. I can get it while we're, while we're sitting here, I think. Okay, so you just gotta let me know. All right. Okay. All right. So I think Okay, I see some hands raised. Caroline, what do you got? Oh, Robbie's in the game. That's awesome. Okay. Caroline, what do you what's your question? You want to answer it out loud? I unmuted you, Caroline. Oh, I just wanted to see what it was. I didn't know what it was. Oh, that's good. That's right. Sorry. No, you weren't the only one. That's good. No problem. I'll mute I'll mute you. Okay. So if you have questions, so, uh, feel free to ask. Go ahead. Um, just wondering, so we don't, all of our quizzes are going to be online. Okay, now let's clarify that. All your quiz grade, it's not, you don't really have a quiz except for your online quizzes. Online will count for a, gra a grade. Okay. Okay. Is it, are we allowed to try it again online? Will the yeah. best grade get picked? Yes. So okay. that's what I want you to do. I want you to to improve that and improve that so that your mastery, the level of mastery, you see that up in the left hand corner, that's mm -hmm. what you're gonna, you're gonna determine, okay? Okay, and it just needs to be done by Wednesday at five? Yes. Now, and the quiz, the quiz grade will be, yeah, the Monday and Tuesday needs to be done by uh, Wednesday at five. Um, okay. So, um, good questions. Let me just uh, make sure that you, I wanted to go into, oh, thank you, Ryan. You know, I know you're waving your hand or something. 
Um, <laughs> so uh, let's, I wanted to share something with you just a second here. Um, so when we go to, there, can you see this screen? What do you yes. See? Okay, you can see my uh, Khan Academy? Uh, no, I see your whiteboard. Okay, thank you. Let me uh, just change that so that it's like, that's great. Okay. Now Good. I see it. Okay, so now, um, so I, I, if you go to, you can always go to Khan Academy and just go to courses. Okay. okay? And we're in the eighth grade course right now. So you can click on eighth grade course and look at all of what you have. You can do the mastery challenge and see where are you lacking. Or like right now, we are doing linear equations and functions. That's what we're doing. So let's okay. get into that. Okay. So then we can, this is what we want to work on. Remember, this is what we were seeing before. So that's just another way to get to it. And I want to work on mastery. If I want to work on mastery, boy, this quiz one is good. Although it, it's not mastery, is it? Mm -hmm. There's no, no sounds there, okay? Ryan, would you please stop? You're fooling around, okay? okay. Um, and I'll, let, me, let me address the question about taking a picture. And then also, um, Ryan, are you listening about uh, on concerning mastery? So here we go. So um, this is 100%. That's OK. If I want to level up, I can collect the 400 points by doing the unit test. See, it says that right here. Uh, you can't level up or collect any more mastery points with this quiz. But when you take the unit test, to level up on all the skills and collect up to 400 mastery points. Okay, so that's. Okay, that's thank you. Okay, so now and that's what your quiz is gonna be graded on. So now here, um, if I do this right here, um, this gives me, I could take this quiz, okay? And I can, so what is the uh, x-intercept? So I could take this quiz and let's just kind of see if you guys have time, how it'll affect my my um, my score. So, if uh, what would the y-intercept? What does x have to be when the y-intercept for the y-intercept? What does the y-intercept look like? I should say, right here. See what's it going to look like? Anybody? Anybody? Is there anybody out there? Okay, the y-intercept. When you talk about the, uh, um, okay, let me just draw, let me annotate this, okay? So the y-intercept, okay, uh, this is the y, right? This is the y, and this is the x, okay? So the y-intercept, if I wanna know where is that point along the y-intercept, then if it's gonna be right here, I know that the x is gonna be what? zero. So I'm going to say x is zero here. And conversely, if the x-intercept where it crosses this x-axis, y must zero, be zero. So now I'm going to plug in zero for x and find out what y is. So you get y plus five is equal to Oh, that's zero. Zero plus one is one plus times two is two. So that equals two. It's supposed to be equal sign, by the way. Okay. So, so if you subtract five from both sides, subtract five from both sides. Wow. I can't even read that five. Okay. This is supposed to be a five. Okay. And I get y is equal to negative three. Okay. So my y-intercept is negative three. Okay. Now I'm going to go down here to determine the x intercept. Okay. So the x intercept is when y is equal to zero. Okay. This is zero. So I get five is equal to 
um, two times x plus one. Okay, I can hardly wait till I get that pen. Okay, now, so that's two x plus two when I distribute, right? So I get five is equal to two x plus two. Okay, so I wanna solve for x. So I'm gonna subtract two, subtract two, Oh, didn't do that very well. Okay, so three is equal to two x. And if x, so if three is equal to two x, divided by two, divided by two, x is equal to one and a half, or three halves, whatever. Okay, so this is three halves. Okay, so that's how we're gonna do that. So now, um, I guess I, now I can go ahead and mouse it in here. So this is zero, and this is negative three, and this is three halves, and this is zero, okay? So, whoop, whoop, whoop. Isn't that impressive, okay? All right, so I hope that kind of makes sense to you. Um, so we can go to the next question. Now, when I continue to do this, okay, should be able to select this and get rid of it. So when, as I continue to do this, I can uh, in, improve my, um, when I get a good score on quiz two, then it'll improve my mastery, okay? What is the slope of the line? Well, let's talk about that a little bit. Well, the slope of the line, Actually, let me draw. Okay, so if I pick uh, what we call lattice points, so I can pick up, pick this point and this point if I wanted to. Those are lattice points. So now if I go from, if I go from here up and then I go to left, I'm going a positive three and I'm gonna go a negative one because I'm going to the left, okay? So what my change in Y is three. Okay, and my change in x is negative one. So that is my slope, negative three. Okay, so my slope is negative three. Okay. okay. Make sense to you? Now I'm gonna go through this so that you can see what effect it's gonna have on my mastery. Okay, so over here, uh, what is the slope of the line? Well, I can even use this, I think, can't I? Okay, so the slope of the line is going to be going to solve for y, for y, right? So I'm going to add three to both sides. Add three to both sides. So I get negative 4x. Um, plus 10 is equal to, wait for it, 2y. Then I'm gonna divide by two, divide by two, I get a negative, remember I gotta divide everything by this one. So it's negative, oh, it's not letting me type now. So uh, negative, not sure what that was about, okay. So um, negative 2x plus 5 is equal to y. Negative 2x plus 5 is equal to y. In, yes, we, this is all review. This should be all. So negative two x plus, so what's the slope? Oh, it's right, ne negative two. 
Okay. Uh, any other questions? Let's see here. Oh, let's just do this one. So this should be, let's uh, graph this. Okay. I got that one right. So slope of the line through this. Oh, this is a great one. Are you ready? Let's talk about this one real quick. Okay. So the slope of the line. Remember, it's change in Y over the change in X. We'll just try some text here. The change in Y. Uh, that's what it was. Oh, there it is. So the change in Y um, over the change in X. Okay, so that's what's really important. Okay, so now, so what's the change in Y is gonna be seven. This is gonna be, let's start with this. So these, these are my Y's right here. So I have my negative one and I have my negative seven. So I can go negative one, change means subtract a negative seven. Okay, over, and we do the same order, one minus uh, five. Okay, one minus five. So add the opposite. Okay, so I can add the opposite. I thought I chose that color. Negative one plus seven is six, and then one minus five is negative four. So my slope is negative three twos. Okay. Thank you for letting me know about my computer. Okay. So negative three has, it's going to be B. Okay. Make sense to you? Okay. I got one more to go. And then, then we're going to see if, you know, how, how good we are. So, um, I don't know how to get rid of that text. Okay. So, the last one determine the intercepts of the line. Well, that's easy one. Like, look at that. Okay. So, let's, uh, let's draw something here. So, this one here is, what is the intercept? That's the x-intercept. It's crossing the x-axis. So, and that's when so that's negative 10, that point is negative 10. Negative 10. And um, that must be zero, right? Well, the y-intercept is when, when x is zero, and what is that point? Oh, that looks like 45, halfway between 40 and 50. So that's negative 45. Okay, so does that look right? Negative 10, zero. Okay, there we go. So, are you ready? Make sense to you? So that is it. So, so remember I was at 17%. I leveled up on five skills. Okay, leveled up on five skills, leveled down on none. That's good. I did good. Now, so I'm done. Let's look at what we got here. So now we're sitting at 24%. So we went up a number of points. So I want you to know that's kind of how this whole thing works. Okay. So any questions that you might have? Yes, we're going to end at 10%. Okay. Um, any questions? Um, and Sydney, you are correct. This is just reviewing things from last quarter. Okay. Um, but it's important to understand and I wanted to start there. Okay. So, okay, guys, I am going to call it good and I'm going to plug in my computer. Um, love you all. Have a good one. Enjoy. And we will uh, go for it. If you have questions, you can always email me something. Oh, somebody asked me about um, how to take a picture. So let me just show you. 
how I can, I mean, uh, take a screenshot. I could take a screenshot of something and I just used a key so I can take a screenshot that takes a picture of it and then I can, I can bring that back up, that screenshot. And that's what this is. So if you send this to me, if you're able to do that. Then if you send this to me, then I can um, address the question, especially when we're right in the middle of something here. Okay. So that's the idea. Okay. So, um, okay, let's go over. Um, there's a question posed um, when, where you replace the X and Y with the numbers that they give you. I'll go over that question. Um, so replace X and Y with the numbers that they give you. Not sure of that, that question, what, what exactly it means. Um, so, <clears throat> yeah, I'm not really sure. So, um, if you want to go ahead and um, um, just narrow that question down a little bit, um, that'd be great. Um, so, if, uh, if, if it's something like this, it's already given, it's already done, you just need to determine the slope. If it's this here, if X is zero, then you plug in, hey, X is zero, okay? So, if that's zero, then you're gonna be good, okay? So if X is zero, then four times zero is what? Zero, and then minus 12. So that would go, you put a minus 12 right here. If X is four, okay, so, Okay, thank you for that. Um, so here it is. So if I have, um, let me just let me go to a whiteboard here. Okay. Mr. Pargetter, it's saying that it's 4x minus 1 is equal to 3y plus 5. And then it gives me like the ones where you choose like, only three comma two or only two comma three. Gotcha. Okay, good. Thank you for that. Okay. Let me, um, I'm struggling here. Okay. Okay. We're going to go to the whiteboard. Okay, good. Now, let me thank you for clarifying. So this is what we have. So we have this, um, 4x, four 4x uh, four minus 1 equals 3y. Okay, my dog is jumping on me. Okay, so here it is. Um, it's also oh, plus 5. I forgot to put that. No, I, I saw that. Plus 5. Okay, good. Now, so we want to, we want to, all we're going to do is we're going to plug in those ordered pairs. Can you tell me what the ordered pair was again? It said it's giving me an options like A to D, and it says only three comma two, only two comma three, both of the answers, and then neither. Gotcha. Perfect. Thank you for that question. Okay, so we got these two points that we're going to plug in. Okay, if X is so, all we're going to do then is we're going to rewrite this as um, four times. Um, well, let's just do this point right here, okay? So, um, 3, 2. So, we're going to x is 3. That's the first one is always x. The second one is always y. So, 4 times 3, okay? Minus 1 equals 3 times. Um, and uh, 2. We're going to put in 2 for y, right? So, we're going to put a 2. Okay, plus five. Okay, so now that's 12 minus one equals six plus five. Is that true? This is 11. Is 11 equal to? 
11. 11, yeah. Yep, okay, so this is accurate. That is good. Make sense? Yes. Okay, now we're gonna do this one. Same story, second verse. So, okay, it does let me, okay. Um, so now I'm gonna go four times, same story. I'm gonna go ahead and copy that down here. Only instead of three, we have, we're gonna put in a two, right? And instead of a two, we're gonna put in a three, right? So X is two, right here, right? X yes. is two, Y is three. Yes. Good, so that means that's eight minus one. And it says that equals nine plus five. Well, that's not gonna work, is it? No. So, so that means that's a no. Okay, so that answers the question, doesn't it? So the first yep. one is yes. First, the second one is no, so you know that what to say. The other two, no. Yeah. Does it make sense to you? Yes. Great question, by the way. Great question. <clears throat> so, okay, Simon, what type of dog do you have, and how many chapters does the story have? I don't know what that last part means. I have a golden doodle, and he is. A cute one. You, you said same uh, same story, different verse, or something like that. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. How many chapters? We got lots of chapters. Oh. We got lots, we got lots going on, man. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Good question. You are so funny. Um, so uh, we got more chapters than we know what to do with. Okay. So. Okay. So there you go. All right. Um, are you guys feeling okay? Uh, yeah, I'm just a little confused on the graphing, but I think I'll figure it out. Okay. So now, when we go to graph this thing, let me just show you no, something. I don't have to graph it. It's just like giving me, like, graph this line that replaces a, or represents a proportional relationship between oh, okay. B and T. So I'm just confused on that. Okay, no, proportional relationship is always um, y equals k times x, okay? So that means that there's no, when we talk about the uh, y-intercept or whatever, hey, it, it, um, y-intercept is always going to be, let me see if I can copy this. That'd be nice. So, um, so that means that it's always going to go through 0, 0. Okay, so okay, let me just bring that up. Are you guys still on the whiteboard? Yes, we are. Yeah, we are. Okay. So okay. Um, what does dy stand for at the top? Yeah, that's what I'm asking too. That means change in y. Oh, okay. Delta delta y, which is change in y, which is just, yeah. Okay. So now let's just look at this one real quick. If we wanted to graph to, um, oh, it disappeared. Can you see this graph that I put in here? No. No. You can't see the graph. Okay. Okay, let's see here. Sorry about that. Give me a second. Okay. You can see it now? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So if I. If your computer dies at 5%, can we still hear you or will it completely shut off? It'll probably shut off here. Oh. Can okay. you see a can you see um a word document? Yes. We lost the graph though. Yeah. There you go. Oh I'm so I'm kinda of nuts. Okay. So I 
Oh, that worked really well. Who says yeah, so? I printed that out, but I'm confused. Like, yeah, okay. Stop it. Okay, well, I'm a whack junk. So, um, but what you could do is you could just plot the points. Okay, so you see, so remember we had those three, two? On yeah. The, and, and that worked. So I can plot that point and I can find another point and then, um, and just plot that point. So that's what we're talking about. So okay. I can't believe I can't get a, uh, a graph on my whiteboard. But, but. Can you see a whiteboard right now? No. Yeah. We just can you try copying and paste it? I tried that. Well, now I see the whiteboard. Yeah, we got a whiteboard here. You could draw one. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that would that would be awesome, Simon. <laughs> so, but anyway, so we have this point three two, right? One, two, three, one, two. So, okay. But your question was this right here, right? So, if it is a linear, if it is a um proportional relationship, it will always go through zero. Okay, Sydney. And if yeah. it includes that other point three, two, but I know it's gonna be three, two, it's gonna be this point, right? Let me just change my colors. Right now. Cause it wants me to graph it and then graph the line and then uh, the unit rate of change is. Blank. Okay. So now what information does it give you on that unit rate of change? Okay. It says the graph line that represents a proportional relationship between D and T with the property that an increase of 0 0.2 unit in a T corresponds to an increase of 1.8 unit in D. What is the unit rate of change of D with the respect to T? that is a change of one unit in T will correspond to a change of how many units in D. Okay, so now- Is this a con question? Yeah, I'm confused though. Okay, so did you say that 0.2 corresponds to 1.8? Yes, okay, it corresponds, wait, which one? The second, okay, 0 0.2, it corresponds to T and then 1.8 is D. Does that make sense? Corresponds to T? Hold on. Um, it says, okay. On, and 1.8 is, is D. D. And then 0 0.2 is T. Okay, so now, and then what does it say that, what is the rate of change Oh, what is the unit rate of change of D with respect to T? Okay, so, so, um, so what we're looking at here, unit rate of D with respect to T, so D is equal to what T? 0 0.2. Wait, what? D is equal to 1.8. 1. 1. 1. Okay. So, okay, so now, what is D with respect to, so um, D is um, what, uh, unit rate of D with respect to T. So, what this means is, so it's like T times X, okay? T times some number. Okay? Yes. And what this really is the unit rate of D. So what times T gives me D? I'll write it out here. What times D gives me T? Okay. So what times this? Actually, what times T gives me D? I think it's T. So if T is 0 0.2 and D is 1.8. Right. 
Do I just multiply them together or? Or divide them. Yeah, divide them. So what times t gives me d? So that would be like 0.9, right? Yeah. Okay. So the unit rate, and, and that's a little confusing as to what exactly you're looking at, but the unit rate, now my computer is going to die, um, the unit rate is going to be 0.9 times um, 0.9 times t is equal to d. Does that make sense? Because if you look at it, 0.9 times 0.2 was nine. It's not point nine. Is nine, right? Point nine times point two is one point eight. Is that true? Yes. Okay. So. And that's what we're looking at there. There you go. Yeah. So that's kind of the idea that we're talking about. Okay. So and it's kind of crazy, and I know that, but. And it's a little hard because I don't see your whole question in front of me, but um, but uh, that's kind of the bottom line. Okay. Okay. Who's listening to music? Say that again. It sounds like someone's listening to music. I am. Uh, oh. <laughs> uh, I had to come downstairs to my to where my music is going on. Oh. So. Even though I was supposed to be on this call until 10 minutes ago, so yay. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, but, you know, we will get together every day at 11, okay? Okay. So, <clears throat> that's the idea for this uh, pre-algebra 2. So, okay. okay, keep working at it. If you have questions, you can shoot me um, screenshots or something like that. Um, and then I can go ahead and... Uh, you know, I can make sure I address them at our 11 o'clock uh, meeting, okay? And you don't okay. have to be at the meeting. I okay. Know See, okay. You know, it's not, it's not uh, mandatory. But if you have questions, if you'd like an explanation, I will do that at 11 each day. Okay. Okay. And Thank you. The same login and everything each day at 11. Same password? Yep. Yep. Okay. Okay, guys. Enjoy. Thank you. Yep. I'll talk to you again later. Okay, bye. All right. Bye.